from the cold theaters of the world. This is Circuit Breaker. Brought to you by the entertainment site AwardCircuit.com. An in-depth chat on film, television, and all the award shows that need predicting. Here's your host, Clayton Davis. Hello, readers, and welcome to Circuit Breaker, brought to you by the entertainment website AwardCircuit.com. I'm your editor and owner, Clayton Davis, here today on... May 31st, 2020, time of recording is 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's episode 188, Rabbit Rabbit, for tomorrow since June 1st. You used a little bit of good luck these days. Here today with Karen Peterson. Hello. Joey. Howdy. Um, in the world. Um... World went to shit this weekend, man. Whoa. Mm. Jeez, oh. you got the COVID and then yeah. what happened? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I made a I made a joke to my wife's uh cousin, uh who's from North Carolina. He moved to New York this uh past year uh for acting school. And I was like, just want to point out that you came here and then like all hell broke loose. And he was here two weeks ago because he drove back up because they finally let him get his stuff from his dorm room. And I saw him, and then that's when the whole... <laughs> and then we tested positive just a few days later. We didn't, we were socially distancing, obviously, but still, I was, then I made another joke, and I was like, um, so I can't see you anymore, because evidently you just bring all the worst things to the area. Um, but actually, let, let's, let's start with a few things, and then and then we can get into like fun stuff, because I, I intend on being fun today, because we could use a little fun. Um... The most important thing, obviously, right now is that the fucking the fucking world is on fire because of a lot of protests going on, and I am just I don't even know. Um, I was uh, was listening to some commentators yesterday, like really, really uh, harping on uh, a lot of people of influence to come out and call for peace and by no means are we on any level of a Beyonce or anyone else that can do that but oh man like we like we all just need to take a deep breath and just like listen George Floyd's death is horrific and not the first and unfortunately I don't believe he'll be the last but I mean we need like the the past few nights have need like it like we need to do something and not what has been happening the past few nights. What happened the past few nights is not the answer. Well, so much of what has been happening these past few nights has been outside people taking advantage of the situation, and that's part of why what's that's part of why the outcry and why the the voices that are trying to speak out are not, are still not being heard yeah. because other people are talking over them. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how to fix it. I don't know where we go. Yeah. Like, how w- do we? I, yeah. It's like, where do we go from here? Kind of thing. And I like, I, I, you know, but I mean, I, I was too young to remember LA 92 and Rodney King, but like even going back before that, like, you know, people, uh, there was a comparison yesterday about, like, you know, we haven't seen outrage on a wide-scale country thing like this since 68 when Martin Luther King was killed. You guys were not alive for that. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't. I can't speak for Martin. Yeah. Just barely. Yeah. <laughs> not just barely. Like, you, we, we, we were born we in were 75. Pretty, I mean, within nine years. Yeah, that's a within long time, years. Mark. That's not bad. Yeah. All right. Yeah, um, it, was, it was funny yesterday on my uh, my Facebook memories. I this comment that I made a couple years ago randomly popped up that I suddenly realized the space launch or the moon landing was only eight years before I was born, and I was like, "Oh, that's so weird." But um, <laughs> anyway, but <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, the thing is that I mean, I remember the LA riots in '92 really well because I was in high school and I lived only 35 miles from LA and my mom kept me home from school for a couple of days because they were threatening riots at my school too. And she just was like, you know what, we're just going to be safe and keep you home. And, um, so I sat and watched it on TV all day, every day for three straight days. And 
I mean, I was a teenager at the time, and there's so much that I didn't understand about what was going on and what was really happening. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the news at the time, the biggest things that they were doing were just, like, showing um, Reginald Denny on a loop, you know, the truck driver that was pulled out of his truck and beaten almost to death. And, um, And they were showing those kinds of things and just really furthering the divide and... What this feels different because it really feels like, um, it it really feels like black people are not in this fight alone this time. Whereas in '92, it really felt like they were trying to separate that divide between white and black people. Mm. And so I, I think we are on the verge of actually having the opportunity to make meaningful change because. Uh, everyone kind of feels like they're in it together now, but um, will we take this opportunity is the real question. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I, 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 there, there does seem to be a, uh, a shared anger among all ethnicities and races this time around with with george floyd um and and then you know i I, the uh what's amy cooper thing that happened like 24 hours prior to it Mm -hmm. you know it was it it was like that was like i'm gonna say business as usual but when george floyd happened right after that then it became a much more uh, sp- spotlight on what the effects of Amy Cooper could have been in that situation. And I've, I've been having a lot of conversations over the past like week about, about white privilege about, and, and really explaining what it, what it means. Uh, Cause I, I think there's been this, this kind of, um, a a offense and 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 i think and and i and i can understand in the context of the way some people use it but not necessarily what it what it means i remember talking to uh somebody and you know they were like you know you know i i you know i'm i'm white but like you know i had hardships and stuff like that and white privilege doesn't negate your hardships and doesn't negate anyone's hardships it's just the acknowledgement that there is a privilege for white people that isn't for others and it's and that that is just the the honest raw truth and there's no evil in white people because of white privilege it's the i the issue has been just that they're there isn't an acknowledgement of it. And George Floyd, oh, oh, you know, let go back even a little bit. Like the, the initial protests of George Floyd, when I say the initial, like that day protests of George Floyd, when they were throwing tear gas and that was peaceful. That in stark contrast to the protest in Michigan, for to to reopen the state when they charged the governor's mansion, our governor's uh, city on uh, uh, state headquarters and all that with guns and rifles and all that and just just nothing and no tear gas no nothing and that that's just some of the 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 ang- and this and this anger is not just George Floyd you know and, and unfortunately George Floyd's story is getting lost in this right now but it's just uh it's 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 a difficult time and i don't know i don't know where to go from here i'm really like like yesterday i remember just like watching tv and i was just like i need like i need some people to start speaking up and then by people i mean like people of like significant influence like I need somebody to just go out and say stop, lay down your arms, let's go home. And then on top of that, it's during a pandemic and I just can't help but think what the next week is going to look like. Yeah. In cases. Which brings a nice little bridge to the personal news of this week. <laughs> so So yeah, um 
if you guys have read on the on the site uh if you have not so i'm about to share so uh hey mark guess what <laughs> yeah, yeah basically yeah, really. uh on on tuesday no i'm sorry on wednesday uh i was actually it's, it's actually funny how this all happened so you guys could have uh Actually, Mark is going to feel so bad about this, so get ready. Like, Mark, this isn't even meant to make you feel bad, but I know it's going to because I didn't think about it until this very moment when I'm about to tell the story. Yes. So I I apologize right away, okay? (laughs) Okay. So (laughs) on Wednesday... I was, uh, it was was about 1145, (laughs) it was about 1145, and uh, for readers, uh, I'd started this thing with the staff about having open office hours, like where I would just (laughs) hang out in a video chat room, (laughs) and I would just like hang out there, and then we would talk about like any pitches or anything we want to write, or just stuff in general, and I was meeting with Griffin Schiller at 1145. Uh, he had came into office hours and we were discussing uh, stuff for his interview that he was doing. And in the middle of my um, meeting with him, like I started feeling like jittery, like really, really jittery. And I couldn't like, like it was it, it, like it, it really like overcame me for a minute. So I was like, and then I felt like I just like needed to use a bathroom or whatever. So I was like, Griffin, c- c- hold on one second. I was like, sorry, just give me one second. So I stepped away and Went and used the bathroom, and then I and then like I felt like I kind of shook it for a minute, and I was like, eh, okay, that was weird. So I came back, sat down, and then I was talking to Griffin again, and we're on video, by the way, so we're like talking, and then it started coming again. It was like really, really like like coming fast, and then I was getting, I was freezing. So I'm in my office, and my office is in my basement of my home. So I. Figured, and it's, you know, it's just typically colder in here than it is in other parts of the house. So I had said to myself, I was like, maybe I'm just like, like maybe I'm just cold or whatever. So I finished, I ended my meeting kind of quick with Griffin, and I left my my uh, my Zoom hangouts open because <laughs> I intended to come out coming back to the meeting. <laughs> so and I'm like, where the hell are you? I, I know. <laughs> So then I go upstairs to Jessica. I, I walked up the stairs and I was like, Jessica, I don't like, I feel really weird. And she said I looked really pale. So she said, lay down. So I lay down on the couch and then I just like really started like just jitters, shakes. Like I, I was like, I am freezing. And I also couldn't like really get sentences out like clearly. Like I was like stammering. So I was like, just like, and like, you know, I was like, You know, and she was like, you know, did you eat anything today? And I was like, I did. I had a bowl of cereal earlier. And, and I do take, uh, this medication called, uh, uh, this is going to get a little personal, but I take this medication, uh, Vyvanse for, um, for like, like, it's kind of like for ADD, but it's more of like focus or whatever. Um, and I take it, I've been taking it for like maybe about a year or whatever. It just helps me like focus because sometimes I like lose, you know, focus on things I need to work on. So I would taken it and it, one of the side effects is like jitters. So I had said to myself, I was like, maybe like I, I just had a weird, really weird reaction to it, but I, I, it's never happened before. So I'm laying on the couch and it was like 12 o'clock and my uh jessica called her parents and her parents are diabetic and she was like well, let's just check your blood sugar just in case and they took my blood sugar and it was 61 and then it was 59 so then they were like well your blood sugar is really low and i was like oh, okay well that you know maybe that makes sense and i was like but i ate something but it seems weird and you know whatever so then it got up to 85 or whatever and i started feeling like i was sort of coming back to life or whatever but i still felt like but then i then I started having really bad body aches. And I thought because I was freezing and really trying like I was going into the fetal position a lot. And, you know, when you're cold, you're just you just tense up. <clears throat> so I thought because I was tense that that was bringing on the body aches. So I called my doctor during that like hour and a half and she wasn't available. So I saw the nurse practitioner um, and she was just like, um, well, low, low blood sugar doesn't do that. You need to, like, it sounds a little COVID-like, you know, uh, watch, you know, do you have a fever? I was like, no. She's like, well, watch yourself the next, you know, a uh, little bit of time. And then um, we, you know, then just call us if things get worse. I was like, okay, fine, whatever. So the rest of the day, I went through my day. Um, and that's when Mark was like, 
Yeah, go wait in there, and then you don't ever get you know? Mark, this is what the concept of having to look at you does to a person. I know, yeah. Just the thought of meeting with Mark, I just was like, I'm going to go get COVID. I'm sorry. <laughs> so He made his choice. Understandable. So then, um, <clears throat> so then, oh, and to go back, and I think I said this last week, last Friday, so not this past Friday, the Friday before, Jessica and I went to a COVID and antibody test. At that point, we still hadn't gotten our results back yet. So, the rest of the day, I just had body aches, a really throbbing headache. Like, the headache was probably the worst of it all. And then I just, you know, then I just, like, felt, like, lethargic for the rest of the day. Thursday, so then it, then uh, I was going to bed. It was, like, like 10 o'clock, and then the jitters came on again. But then I got a fever. And then we got, I got up to, like, 101.9. And, then, you know, so Jessica's, like, check my temperature or whatever. And she's, like, kind of watching me a little bit throughout the night. And... Uh, she said like I got really clammy in the middle of the night, but I, like I was warm. But then like at one point I got really clammy, but it looked like my fever had broke like on its own. Um, but I slept like fine, but I, I took half the day off from my other job. And I was like, I'm just going to like take the morning and just like, I feel like I just need to sleep this off, whatever the hell this is. So but I had a fever again in the morning and then I met with my doctor in the morning and then she said, so sounds like you have COVID, you need to go into self-isolation. So I was like, damn it. So then for 12 hours, I was isolated in my bedroom because, again, we just finished doing the house. So I'm isolated in my bedroom downstairs. And, um, you know, Jessica was like coming with a mask, whatever, drop me off food. At that point, she like, uh, or we, we had acknowledged it. Like, if I had it, probably the house got it or whatever, but we weren't sure. With like, the doctor said, wait for your results to come back. If it comes back negative, go uh, get tested again. Could you probably pick it up between then and now? And for everyone's information, me and Jessica have been very, very careful during this time. We just had a conversation on Monday about like our reaction to the i i uh the self quarantine and like the stay at home orders Jessica was asking me she was like are we being too strict about this cuz we see all these videos of people being outside and we started to feel bad cuz you know Sophia has been struggling through you know during this and she like wants to go out and see her friends and stuff so we were like feeling terrible about it so fast forward Thursday uh 9:30 at night text message comes separately to me and Jessica Jessica tests positive and I test negative. <laughs> so we were like, oh, that's funny and interesting. So at minimum, Jessica's had it for like a week and change at that point. And like, and I started exhibiting symptoms or whatever. So we saw, we saw on Friday, we saw our doctor together because we have the same doctor. And she said, well, Clayton, go get retested again. You're probably going to test positive now. Jessica, you know, this, this shows, like, how crazy the virus is. You're positive. He's negative. He's showing symptoms. She has shown nothing up until now. And that's that's it. So I'm going to go get retested. Oh, by the way. So then this all exposed the holes in our health system. So on Friday, I had a call where I got tested. I was like, hey, my, I just has a negative. My wife says a positive. My doctor says for me to get re- uh, retested. And they said they don't do retests. So you have to call another center. So I have to go to another. What? I have to go to another place to go get tested. It's a good thing this is convenient, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. So it's it, and it, and th- what's the difference between testing for the first time and testing someone again? I, I, it's the same test. I don't know. They said they don't do. Re- I, we didn't get back our antibody tests either, which I think now I guess are obsolete. But I don't know. What, like whatever that. So yeah. So I had a call like a different place. So my city, there are. They were like, well, you don't need to make an appointment, and I was like, um, yeah, I know that, but that doesn't seem cool for me to stand outside and wait. If I have COVID, like, are you doing yeah, it? Yeah, you're pretty I, sure I'm you pretty have, sure it. I have it. And they're like, oh, no. So we're doing uh, appointment for drive ups. Uh, you want to do that? I'm like, yeah, I would like to do that. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. So then that's what I have an appointment for, for a drive up. That was the same one I did last time. And then, yeah. So that was my, that was my, uh, my COVID week. So we are in quarantine for the next 
14 days well 12 more days left to go or whatever and uh and they started uh street cleaning again here so we still are expected to move our cars which is because we don't have uh driveways because this is the city yeah we're in the same boat in my neighborhood too i think that actually i think it starts up this week too oh great yeah so that 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 is uh that was our week but you're feeling how are you feeling today um, I'm just, I'm really, really tired. Like I'm just, I could feel really lethargic, but other than that, like I'm fine. I, I didn't have a fever yesterday and that was the first time I didn't have a fever the whole time. So that's good. I think Jessica's like way at the end of this. And then I think I, like, I, like the big thing that my doctor was asking, like, are you having any trouble breathing or anything like that? And I said, no. Um, like, you know, I, I, I mean, I, I want to say like, I felt wi- like I, I got winded easier than like, I saw it, we were locked in yesterday and we have, uh, for peasants like myself, we don't have central air in our home. So we got uh wall mounted, uh, units, um, that we installed. So one, one of them started making noise and I had to empty the, I had to clean the filter and clean the reservoirs and all that stuff. And I had to stand on a ladder for it and then get down. And I, afterwards I was like, oh, I feel tired. Like it, it definitely like made me feel winded. Can I also tell the funniest part of this though? So <laughs> the funniest thing I read about this whole thing, cause my, you know, I, I tell my mother and, you know, obviously like anyone who has moms, you know, they like, I obviously have a heart attack because of it. So my mom was like, can you taste things? I was like, well, this funny thing I, I read yesterday is that they say that the more fit you are, the more likely you are to lose your sense of taste and smell. So if this gets really bad for me, I'm going to taste everything for a long, long time. That's the thing I'm going to go out on. I'm going to be like, I tasted everything before I went to get the hell out of here. So just let you know, if you lose your, if you don't lose your taste and you have covid then you know it's because you're not in good enough shape <laughs> so whatever mark johnson would probably so mark johnson would probably lose his taste i would <laughs> lose my <laughs> taste instantly are you kidding yeah <laughs> you never had <laughs> <taste>. yeah, <laughs> sure. you nice nice well done so yeah that was uh that was the covid week of of sorts but i, I know but, you had a hard week but i have a movie that i'm under embargo about so let's just say it's a, it's a push you know I know. I know you think you have yeah. a bad week. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's definitely it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think my eyes could have rolled any farther. Back. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I just wanted to know if I could hear the actual eye rolling. Oh, you want to see if you hear it? Yeah, somewhere, yeah, somewhere out there. You, somewhere out there, you can hear it. Just the sound of the eyes hitting the back of the head. <laughs> yep. Uh, so I have uh, before I get into news. I, so one thing we were doing uh, last week that really uh, I thought may be a cool little game for us to play. Um, cause Mark seems to enjoy it. And when Mark starts liking something, I feel like we should do a little more of it because Mark likes so we little things. We should keep doing it until he hates <laughs> it. Until he hates it. Yeah. Until you ruin it. So in, on the site, you know, we have the, the new circuit movie database where you should be rating movies as, as they come in. And, uh, it brings in a lot of information like the taglines of the movies of their marketing at the time. So I thought we could play a little game where we guess the movie based on the tagline. Okay. Yeah. And here Joey, are the, log he, off of your yeah, site. Here are the rules. You have ten you have, you have ten you have you have five Three seconds, seconds. To, five five <laughs> seconds to answer. And if you don't know it, you move on. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, uh, how about ladies first, and then we'll go from age to beauty after that. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So then, here we go. Are you ready, Karen? I'm ready. I feel like this is easy, but here we go. Mm. An entire universe, once and for all. Hmm. An entire universe once and for all. Um, Actually, it's a little tricky. The only thing I could think of is He Man, Masters of the Universe. No, I don't God, know. that's a good guess. Can though. we steal? No. Yeah. Uh, Joey? Entire universe once and for all. It's got to be like the end of a franchise, but I don't know which one. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Mark? I'm going to say Contact. 
Oh, no. That was a good guess, too, though. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, when I say it, Joey was the closest, though. He was on the right track. Mm-hmm. Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> Is it really? It was? Yeah. Okay. Weird tagline. Inf- Infinity War. See, Endgame probably would have been a lot, like, like yeah. clearer, but yeah. Okay. Cuz I think okay. that I think yeah. I think I remember that one. Wasn't that one like whatever it takes or whatever? I think that was one yeah. of them, yeah. All right. Um huh. All right. Uh Joey. All right. Beyond the myth lies America's greatest betrayal. Uh everyone's created equal. <laughs> <laughs> yep, um, that movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I I don't know all right. at all. All right. Mark, beyond the myth lies the greatest lies Amer- America's America. greatest betrayal. America's greatest betrayal. So uh, JFK, I don't know. No, good, good guess. Well, that, was that was my good, guess too. Yeah, that was a good guess. <laughs> you guys are getting really good guesses. Man. I like it. We're probably it's probably going to be something like not related to an important <laughs> issue at all. It'll be mom and, uh, mom and dad saving the universe. It, 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 it makes it's like it, Air Force yeah. One. It makes sense something. when you when you say it though. God, uh, Karen. Um. Gosh, I don't even know now. Um, Beyond the myth, yeah, that's America's that's the greatest hint. betrayal. It's, it's, a, it's a myth. Um, the China syndrome. I don't know. It's some, it's, I bet it's something with <laughs> no. like Area Fifty One or some kind of thing. No, no. Uh, the assassination of Jesse James by the coward oh. Robert Ford. Oh. Oh, all right. is that really that, the that greatest betrayal that the country has ever had? Yeah, no, it's it's definitely not the greatest. Yeah, it's not the greatest betrayal, but you know whatever. Well, it is if you're just right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. true enough. It depends who you're asking. Yeah, you piece of shit. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Fortunately, it's not betrayal. Fortunately, I am not Jesse James. So uh, <laughs> you're definitely a Robert Ford, Mark. <laughs> Um, who's this? This is for this is Mark, me. right? Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, Mark. Th- uh, this is uh, this is hard. I don't know. Okay. I, I think right. you might get it. I like it. We'll see. <clears throat> I have to I have to give you voice and everything. Well, we're over two so far. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. But I feel like there's some that like. Yeah. No, it's fun though. This yeah, is fun. This is fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> their turf, their game, their rules. They didn't count on his law. I don't remember the name. Is it that Keanu Reeves baseball movie? I I don't remember. The uh, hardball. Hardball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. He makes the law. No. All right. All right fine. No. No. Uh, that's funny. Hardball. Oh my god. That's so funny. I don't even know why guess. that just popped in my head. I couldn't. Get, I don't I know either. Once but, it did. Once it did. But, I couldn't but, get out. Wait, when you first said it, I was like, "That's ridiculous." But I was like, "Actually, it kind of makes sense." It kind of makes Go sense, ahead. right? He had to read him. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Karen. Can you say it again? I sure. She doesn't know it. She just wants to hear you say it again. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) their turf, their game, their rules. They didn't count on his law. Uh, Is it ladybugs? No, I I, I think I I I don't remember Rodney Dangerfield like being a lawmaker in that one. (laughs) Yeah. Well, there's like rules. I have a, yeah. I have a guess. Yeah. I don't know. I have a guess. Uh, I, I, I don't know what it is, but I, it has to be something like he's a sheriff or something like that. I can't. I think we're thinking the wrong way. Hmm. See, I'm thinking it's something like. Do you have a guess, funny. Joey? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't have an official guess. No, I'm yeah. just thinking it's got to be right. more long. How about so? So, so uh, let me let me give a hint yeah. or, or two. So it is. Closer to law law enforcement as a closer. Um, how about it is about a detective, a comic strip oh. detective. Oh, I know Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy. Yes, Dick yeah. Tracy. I was going to okay. say Judge Dredd. But... All right. I mean, Dredd would have worked too. Oh, Dredd because would, yeah, he literally would makes the laws. I mean, yes. All right. Um, who's this? Karen. This is Karen. Yeah, mm-hmm. Karen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this one didn't have one that came with it. Oh, I was totally gonna hope that Death Warrant had one. I was totally gonna read it so fast. <laughs> the tagline is blank. I was the movie. so excited. I was like, yes, it's gonna be awesome. 
Because the, the 90s ones are the best ones, oh, my yeah. God. Oh, they're oh, so great. They are so amazing. I, one of the answers is going to be Malice. Just waiting for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, Malice didn't have a good tagline. Malice had a Bad. good um, oh. end trailer with uh, Alec Baldwin saying... Um, uh, you think I have I a god think complex? I'm god, I am god. Yeah, yeah, you think I have a god mm-hmm. complex? Let me tell you something. I am god. Oh yeah, that's how yeah. it is. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Karen. Okay. <clears throat> uh, this is a softy. I think you can get it. <laughs> the fate of oh, hold on. I oh, know. The fate <laughs> of a nation rests on the courage of one man. Um. I totally recognize that, but I can't place it. I oh man, I don't know. Joey? Uh I don't know. I'll guess Lincoln. No. Good guess. The Patriot. Oh, good guess too. No. <laughs> uh here here's your first hit, Karen. Director okay. Wolfgang Peterson. Oh. Hmm. Um Oh my gosh. <laughs> the only thing I could think when you said that was never ending. Story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. Less likely. The never ending story. Cuz you know, the the nation needs <laughs> Exactly. Yep. Um yeah, I don't I still don't know. Joey Peterson. Just I'm thinking through the movies. Can you give me the quote again? You're thinking through the movies or you're looking up the movies? <laughs> thinking through the movies. Not the perfect yeah. storm. The fate of a nation t- rests on the courage of one man. I know that many of his movies. Fate yeah. of a nation rests on the courage. The first one I would have thought uh, would have thought of isn't the one. Yeah, I don't. Is there another hint? Uh, well, we'll see. Mark? No, I don't have anything. Yeah, my hint would have been... Uh, I'll just go to the next one. My, my hint, my, uh, my guess would have been in the line of fire. Hmm. Um, oh, yeah. But but it's not, but it's not that it's Air Force One. Ah. That doesn't make sense I, now. So I didn't realize he directed either of those. Yeah, I, don't, <laughs> really? I couldn't remember anything he did. <laughs> really? Yeah, I drew blank. I was oddly the thinking only of, thing like, I could remember movie. was yeah. The only thing I could specifically remember was Never Ending Story because my brother and I. <laughs> <laughs> used to always laugh because our last name is Peterson, and I used to be like, "I'm going to call you Wolfgang." And, you know, we just were nerds. So. Every time we watched that movie, we would, I would call him Wolfgang. Awesome, nice, uh, Joey. All right, fly away home. Seriously, <laughs> is it the movie Fly Away Home? It isn't. You're supposed to say the tagline. Not the is that movie. right? I know it would have been too good. Um, I I don't know. Huh. I'm sticking with my answer. No, <laughs> Mark, fly away home. Yep. I don't think we even knew that this was this for this movie. Yeah. I don't think you guys were going to get it. No, I doubt it. <laughs> I'll say the it aviator. Makes sen- it makes sense. It makes sense though. In retrospect, go ahead. What did you say? The aviator? Yeah. No, the good guess though. Uh, Karen. Um. Angels in the outfield. <laughs> oh, oh, that's awesome. Nice. <laughs> nice. No, it's not, though. That's you guys are never going to get it. What is it, it is Ladybird. Oh. Really? Yes. So, hmm. I never knew that in a gajillion years. No, I did not. Hmm. <laughs> like, you're like, eh, maybe. Yeah. Mm, no. Like, yeah, kind not, of. Not sure I accept that, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, you don't know if you like the answer, but, yeah. No, no. But it's like, yeah, I'll take it. Um, me, Mark. Yeah, put on a happy face. Uh, Joker. Yeah, thought <laughs> thought I'd go a little softer. Give you guys some chance. Okay. Uh, Karen. They took the American dream ride. No, no, they took the American dream for a ride. Oh. Good one. <laughs> He just likes it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, just like it, that's all. I Oh, man. I don't know. All I'm thinking are comedies. Um, and I'm sure it's probably... Well, <laughs> it's not a comedy. Oh, man. It's yeah, the first one that yeah. popped into my head was RV. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> and I was God. Like, oh, my Lord. 
<laughs> oh my god. Um, uh, uh, Joey, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go the opposite end. I don't know it, but I feel like it definitely involves cars, but isn't a comedy. <clears throat> uh, Days of Thunder. I don't know. How about Natural no, Born good Killers? Good guess, though. Ooh, that's a really good guess. Mm. Ooh, no, but be- that's a better guess. But no, uh, Joey was closest. Ford v Ferrari. Okay. So I, just, I just picked the bad version of Ford huh. v Ferrari. I- <laughs> well, as soon as you said that, I was like, Ooh, "Oh yeah, a, I do remember uh, seeing <laughs> seeing that on the poster." <laughs> yeah, Joey. Um, this is my childhood, and I was just watching it before I came on the podcast today. So get ready. Something weirds on the air. Something weirds on the air. On the air. UHF. No. God, that's a good guess, though. Something weird is on the air. Something weirds on the air. God, what would be on the air? Um, this is this is this is really like so. I feel like it's almost specific. Like I think you have to be really cool to know this. I don't know say, how cool. You I'm gonna are, say Mark. weird science. Oh, good guess. But no, that was a good. That was a really good guess. Mm. You lean into weird. Yeah. Karen. Pirate radio. Oh, no, that's not his childhood, though. I don't yeah. know when he yeah, was yeah, a yeah. child. But, but he's still a child to like, me. I mean, I was, a, <laughs> I was an adult when that movie came out. I don't, so I feel like he, <laughs> How old are you guys? I don't even yeah. know. <laughs> they're like 20. I think they're 24. Yeah. Exactly. I'm, thir- I'm 35. I'm going to be 36 <laughs> oh. in a few weeks. Hey, Thank you. That, what are you picking on our age for? You're basically yeah. the same age at that point. Yeah, don't don't don't! I'm not basically that. <laughs> That's what someone who's I'm not basically old. I got you by a touch. I got you by a touchdown. Um, here I'll give you a star from the movie and see if it and anyone can scream it out. John Ritter. Oh, um. Hmm? Trying to think what movie John was in, other than it, maybe something weird on the air. I'll give you another star, which Dang. I didn't even realize he was in it. Eugene Levy. I have no idea. Jeffrey Jones. Problem child? Nope. Oh, problem. Jeffrey it, Jones is the devil. Or is it a she devil? devil? Like, no. <laughs> problem child? Oh, wait, you already said problem child. Um, <laughs> Say problem no, child. No, I can't no, get that out of my head. <laughs> it's um, the new godfather of the week. <laughs> right? I have no idea. I have no idea. Stay tuned. I don't know what that is. You remember know Stay Tuned when no. he gets sucked into the television with his wife? No, I, I was oh, probably okay. too old I remember for that the movie existing, but I've never seen it, and I didn't know what it was called. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, well, now so our chances it, were low. Well, yeah, well, it's on Amazon Prime now. You should watch it. It's I will. Really fun. <laughs> probably not. I won't. I will. You'll, say she'll that watch I will. it while you're watching Casablanca. Yeah, yes, exactly. There you yep. go. Done. Um, who's up, Joe? No, sure. Uh, I no, no, Mark had. Move. Wait, no, Karen had that. So, yeah, it's Joey. Joey. So it is me. Joey. All right, Joey. Based on a real scandal. Oh, I've heard that. That's one. it. It's more recent. Yeah. Uh, I know I'm wrong. I'm going to go bombshell. That is bombshell. Oh, oh cool. nice job. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was recent because I've seen yeah. that. Like, I've visualized it. You had W E. My God. Yeah. Yep. I had no idea. I had no idea what it was. That was the no, first thing that popped in. No, they definitely went way classier for that one. They tried to make it seem like it was a good and important movie. <laughs> uh, Mark, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, all right. I feel like this will test Mark's skills. Mm. The answer is W E. Mark. <laughs> yep. Ready? Yeah. <clears throat> the courage to do the impossible lies in the hearts of men. White men can't jump. <laughs> I wish. I'm say, at the say database right now. By say, the way. One more, say one more time. The, the courage. The to courage. Do the, the courage to do the impossible lies in the hearts of men. So I had a guess until you said "men" at the end, and that threw it off. <laughs> until he accurately quoted the tagline. Yeah. Yeah. Because 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 not, not from the, it sort of sounds like the shadow at first. Okay. The Alec Baldwin, the shadow. What mm-hmm. what evil lies in the hearts well, of men? Yeah. That it sounds like that. <laughs> Say on, it one more time for me. 
Wait, hold on. White men can't jump. Hold on. I'm just adding that. <laughs> Priorities, Mark. <laughs> I got to do that. Um, <clears throat> the courage to do the impossible lies in the hearts of men. Jesus. Uh, I feel like I'm in another one. I'll, I'll say gladiator. Oh, good guess, though. But no. Oh, yeah. very good. I'm, I'm more impressed by our guesses today yeah. than anything else. Go ahead, Karen. <laughs> Oh man! Stay stay in that realm, though. Think think of yeah. where where I'm praising. Okay. Um. Oh man! It's probably the other one I was going to say. I'm going to be angry. <laughs> <laughs> you are. I think you're going to be pissed. <laughs> yeah. Oh man! I don't know. How um, are there no Rosie Perez images in this goddamn database? That's just rude. <laughs> I know that is so rude. I'm so mad. Two Woody Harrelsons, no Woody, no Rosie. Seventeen Harrelsons. Wesley Snipes. Jesus, Lame. no, just one. <laughs> They're oh, hinting shit. about that movie. Who terrible. made that database? They're wrong. Oh, God, I mean, I love them, but come on. <laughs> <laughs> For the older movies, it gets re- it's really a crapshoot sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I really have no idea. No. On this. Joey, Spartacus. Yeah, no, that was, that another my, good guess that was though. Go ahead, Mark, guess. give you, give. You, oh, that, was it? That was it. Yeah. Oh no, I thought. All right, because you were on the right track oh. with Russell Crowe. Oh okay. Oh, Master and Commander. Master and Commander. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, I thought you were gonna get it. No. I, all right. I uh, all right, Karen. Here's a softball. I believe in you. You ready? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, evil fears the night. Hmm. Um, evil fears the night. Hmm. Night and day. I don't know. <laughs> nope. I mean, they did fear him in that movie. That's true. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> uh, we're just always in state when, when in doubt, name a Tom Cruise flick, and that's probably yep. right. right. <laughs> yeah, uh, Joey. I, the Dark Knight. No. So if they fear the night, it might be something in the day. So how about Day of the Dead? No. Yeah, Joey Zombies was don't care about that. Joey was the closest. Batman Begins. Oh, was it right. really? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, too clever by half. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um... <clears throat> This Joey, let's see if you get this one. I oh. feel like you could because I feel like this. I feel like I heard this a lot. In it's a '90s, so I'm gonna tell everyone it's the '90s. Okay, okay. right. Don't move. Don't whisper. Don't even breathe. I have heard that one. Yes. I feel like we all have. I feel like uh, maybe mm-hmm. I just feel like I have. No, I totally island. have. Yeah. Couldn't tell you the movie though, but <sighs> let's see. Mm. For the nineties, huh? It's either like a horror or a disaster movie. I think in the nineties. Oh, there are a lot of those. I know, yeah. but I know the like taglines to like earthquake and like to like volcano and stuff, and it's not that. I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm gonna. Yeah, Mark. I'm trying to think what movies you couldn't like move in, and the only one that like I can't get out of my head is Jurassic Park because the T Rex. Oh. Can't imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Can't imagine that's right. That's not it. I don't know. I um, don't know either. That's where I'm and, like, and here, oh, here's a it hint. Feels here's like a, a horror movie. Yeah. Um, it's not horror. It's thriller, and that is actually said in the movie. Mm, don't oh. by one of the characters, aka the bad guy, says it. Don't move. Don't whisper. Don't even breathe. Hmm. Fear. No. Cl- ah, good, good guess, but no. Really? Yeah, that was really, that was really good. That was actually a really good guess. No. Well, give us a hint. Yeah, it, it, it's not. It's it is and it isn't, but it's closer. Okay. Copycat. No. Hmm. Scream. No. No. Now you're getting too far away. What is it? Ah, uh, Judgment Night. 
Emilio oh. Estevez, oh. 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 Dennis Leary says it. That had the best <laughs> soundtrack. <laughs> Wait, the, hold on, early... Mark. Have you rewatched it? No, God, I can't. So, imagine. so Mark, I used to say that same sentence. I love Judgment Night. <laughs> I saw it like four months ago. Oh yeah, and dude, it is ridiculous. Oh, sure. <laughs> that was that was what like ninety so... three. 93 yeah yeah that was it is uh, bizarrely so stupid yeah. like the whole concept of yeah. it of like why these people cannot get away from yeah. this these guys and just call the police <laughs> like i don't understand why they can't get away and then cuba gooding jr's arc it's just preposterous. <laughs> he gets mad and says, we're going to kill them. And then Emilio Estevez is supposed to be this big, tough guy. And he's like 5'4". <laughs> and and, and also, Cuba, he's Emilio Estevez. Right? He's Emilio Estevez. And they keep screaming at him. And they're like, this is not who you used to be. He's like, I've been the tough guy before. I'm like, no, you're not. You're Emilio Estevez. <laughs> 35% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, God. And then yeah. Jeremy Piven gets thrown off a of, off a roof i mean i get is, on board with that yeah which is fun That's <laughs> oh, but it's so, turning me around so this funny movie. yeah man yeah i haven't watched that movie in probably 25 oh, years either I'll tell you, like give, give it a go i think <laughs> i think if i remember the soundtrack correctly it had like cypress hill and onyx and a bunch of other yeah, like, yeah. 90s it's bands the, that were it's the it's the most yeah. 90s thing ever. Uh, the most 90s it. sentence you've ever said, Mark. And you say yeah, a lot I mean, of 90s. I, I, mean, I, mean, listen, I loved yeah, it. I mean, listen, I, I was like, uh, what was I doing? I was Spotifying something like the other day. I came across the Batman Forever soundtrack, and that is like <laughs> the <laughs> definitive soundtrack, but it's so stuck in the 90s. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, that had like Seal, right? That was the big song. Yeah. Kiss yeah. From Kiss from but, Rose. but also, yeah. it also has U2. Uh, it has U2. Yeah. 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 It's, it's yeah, that was good. a good soundtrack. Mark, the Judgment Night soundtrack peaked at number 17 on the Billboard 200 and had wow. four singles. That's I'm surprised it was that high. That's pretty good. Well, yeah, that that that's what movies movie soundtracks were like. Those were charting in yeah. the 90s. Yeah. Like yeah. last act, last action hero. Yeah, well they used to play the songs from movies yeah. on the radio and Right. Like I mean, that just I remember you couldn't get away from my heart will go on. You couldn't get away uh, from my beauty or beating oh, the tried. beast, you know. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Last last action hero had a great one with like Alice in Chains and Megadeth, and oh, um, yeah. I think Def Leppard did that like two steps behind song was from that or something. But there were a lot of really good ones on that one. Anyway, I think that movie's streaming somewhere too. I was just like, oh, I should watch that again. God, no, I, I haven't shouldn't. seen that. Yeah, I can't imagine. <laughs> I, oh, but. Yeah, that's like ninety. Karen, there's still Tom Cruise movies. We don't we don't need to do that yet. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I still have like twenty two more to yeah. find. I mean, I've seen them all, but so you watch. <laughs> um. All right, Mark. Yeah. Here, yeah, three right. more, and then we'll hit the road on this on this t- topic. Why should we discuss <laughs> sort of news? Um, infinite space, infinite terror. I know that tagline. How about Event Horizon? Very good, Mark. That right? Oh, That's nice. right. Really? Holy shit! Yeah. Oh my wow. god. That just popped in. Sam yeah. Neil was I, Sam Neil was still I, on. Yes, the brain, Sam Neil and Lawrence Fishburne. I actually thought you were going to say Alien Three or something like that. No. Like I thought you were gonna, well, you know, but I, well, Alien Aliens have obviously yeah, the best ones. Classic, but then totally. I don't know what Alien Three is. So. Yeah, the Alien original one was on Earth. Everyone can hear you scream, which is awesome. Then they didn't make that movie. <laughs> yeah. One day. Um, it's uh, Karen, right? Yeah. To enter the mind of a killer, she must challenge the mind of a madman. Oh, I got that one. I think I know it too. Yeah. Um. Do you want me to say it in my sexy voice again? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yes, could you say it again? To enter the mind of a no wait no wait what no oh, yeah here it goes <laughs> I was like wait I, I, I read I started reading the wrong thing to enter the mind of a killer she must challenge the mind of a madman which kind of doesn't make sense well if, my, if I'm right it doesn't make sense but we'll say mine, mine makes sense I'm pretty sure it's right um copycat. No, <laughs> you and Mark. <laughs> I think Joe. Like, I, I forgot Copycat it. existed. Yeah. Joey, yeah. I I like Copycat. I'm, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go with too. the cell. 
Yeah, the cell's what I was thinking. No, uh, not the, no, not oh, the cell. Right, then, then I would say yeah. my, my backup one was Silence of the Lambs. And that's it, and it doesn't yeah. make See, sense. And I thought it does. of that, and then I was it like, does, but that to, doesn't make sense. To catch Buffalo Bill, she has to, <laughs> like, enter understand. The mind of yeah. Enter the mind of Bill. Yeah. yeah, but... But she doesn't enter a his mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with yeah. the cell's a better answer. So I, I thought the cell, that's the cell is what I thought too, Joe. Yeah. Science slams yeah. kind of started popping in there. I'm like, eh, maybe it's that. But the cell made more sense because she does like the whole scientific thing Top where she gets science yeah. slams the cell. We just yeah. we've got the trifecta. Yeah, there's the trilogy. <laughs> that's the tri- <laughs> that's a great trilogy. I know what I'm doing today. That's not a bad way to spend uh, the day. <laughs> uh, Joey, all right, give your soul to the dance. Oh, oh, save the last dance. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> How about Billy Elliot? No. Oh. Damn, Suspiria. I that Very good. No way. <laughs> really? That makes yeah. so much nice sense. Job. Suspiria. I don't yeah. know. No one kept score, but I feel like Karen might have just that was good. got up on that one. I think Karen's um, up two to I'm one. I'm not going to ask you what this one is because... Oh, never mind. There isn't one. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to mm. say there's a lot because this movie doesn't exist. <laughs> Uh, I was going to read the New Mutants one, but it doesn't have one. In a world where the movie <laughs> sort of exists. Yeah. It just, of course it doesn't it, have one. Um, all right. Here, one for the road. Here we go. Scream it if you know it. <clears throat> Size does matter. Godzilla. Small soldiers. Godzilla. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Godzilla 1998. <laughs> I know that. Yep, yep. That poster is very clear now. It's the big yeah. foot. I think. I think I got four because I had Event Horizon, Silence oh, of Lambs, can't Godzilla. Even let Karen have it. Jesus. I know, but what was the first I one? Don't I, even know. I got the I first one, uh, and I got Joker too. So that's four. Oh, you did get. Yeah, you did get Joker. Oh yeah, because Karen missed uh, Batman. Uh, the Batman Begins. Yep. I'm adding so, Godzilla so, to the database so eat now it, too. Karen. <laughs> oh, Godzilla had a. Hundred and thirty million dollar budget. So bad. Is it I oh. think I think I think this still exists, but I think uh it's like one of those fun facts. I think contractually like they'll never make it, but Matthew Broderick is contractually obligated to make two more Godzilla movies if they ever make them. Because <laughs> I mean, he had signed on for it. He's probably hoping. He's probably hoping. Well, it was supposed to be a trilogy, yeah. and then it bombed I so hope bad. He, uh, I don't think I, I think like some kind of yeah, hopefully there's like an expiration in the I mean, contract. It's, it's got to be like a statute of limitations, right? Yeah. Like, I would, I would kill to have that conversation. My new dream is to be in charge of Sony or whatever company actually made that. So I can call them in the <laughs> office and be like, we're executing the Godzilla 2 clause. So I'll see you in three weeks. Just to hear his reaction of, you're, you're, you're kidding me, right? Yeah. Like, like, Michael Bay that? is directing it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. There you go. Yeah. Oh, Stephen Dorff is also in Judgment Night. I forgot. Mm. Oh yeah, you know what's never a good sign? That Godzilla movie was so not great that the novelization of the book of the movie is almost not the same plot. Like it's written like by the Matthew Broderick character after the fact. Like even the guy who's paid just to like regurgitate it was like, I can't do that. I got to do something else with this material. Um. Well, I think the it was so bad that the Chinese made their next Godzilla movie kick that Godzilla movies like kick that like it wasn't Godzilla. They like jettisoned it. They just like said it wasn't Godzilla. Godzilla's they thought it, that they're they're saying that New York thought it was and it wasn't. And then real Godzilla oh, yeah. kills him. It's not. It's not kills her. That's it's hilarious. A, uh, it's a copycat. Yeah. All right. I I need to know what copycat's tagline is because i feel like it's come up way too much in this conversation for us not to know i mean it's like the fourth time it's been mentioned yeah let's see copycat copycat was one word right like it for yeah, the yeah. purposes all right. yeah all right copycat 1995 sigourney weaver look at Would we you have guessed it Oh my God! This is such a long one. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> let, let's see if Karen would have got it. <clears throat> okay. One man is copying the most notorious killers in history. Oh, one I yes. totally would have gotten that. Yes. That's yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah. I'm not That's done it. with the tagline yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a oh, paragraph. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, one man is copying the most notorious killers in history, one at a time. Together, two women must stop him from killing again, or. <laughs> They're next. <laughs> I mean, it's impossible oh, not to have gotten that one, but it's also the world's longest tagline. Yeah, yeah. Ever. It's not even it's on not the a poster. tagline. That's the plot. <laughs> yeah, summary. Yeah. Well, it's funny. The 
because <laughs> the way I'm looking at it, the tagline is longer than the overview. Because the overview <laughs> is an, a, a, an agoraphobic psychologist. Agoraphobic, yeah. a, yep. And a female detective must work together to take down a serial killer who copies serial killers from the past. Period. And that is less characters than the tagline. <laughs> That's funny. I forgot Holly Hunter's in this. Yeah. Yeah. Holly Hunter, Sigourney Weaver, uh, Harry Connick Jr. Let's play yeah, name that director. No, Who's God. the director? Francis Ford Coppola. No, yeah, you, guys are, sure, you guys are never going to get it because I, <laughs> I, I barely I know no it. Idea. Jo- John Emil. Oh, God. Who's that? Uh, Normally shitty director. No, he he's uh, he did other stuff because I because his name's in the database already, and I I just checked. I think them he off did like the core, the one that you probably know. No, there's something else. Damn it! I think he did the core at least. Here, Mark, you know this one. That... There was nothing to hold on to, except each other. Oh my god! Yeah, I remember that. Um, there was nothing. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. That, that, I think that sounds really I, familiar. I'll be honest, it doesn't sound anything like this movie. Because it kind of makes this sound like a drama. Um, and it's definitely not a okay. drama. I now pronounce movie. you Chuck and Larry. Oh, maybe not then. It sounds familiar. It's what all, is it? It's all Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not even close. <laughs> That's to not it. Yeah. Uh, let me just see. I, I feel like I sh- should know this. I feel like I remember. What was Legends of the Fall? Brad Pitt. Um, no, no sure. I feel like it was Legends uh, of Passion, Legends of Madness, yeah. or something like that. Yeah, oh, the, wait, the oh, something Legend. before the fall, or something. The um, yeah. Oh damn! Probably Look it up before. quick. Somebody find it. Oh. Hold on, I'm, I'm pulling. I'm pulling it in the database right now because it God wasn't in the it. database. I'm gonna know that one. It's on the cover. Hey, why wasn't damn. that in the database already? Because uh, we do it a little after Mark. the fall from innocence. The yeah. legend begins. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I should have. Pitt comes before the fall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Christina Pickles is in Legends of the Fall She is? Yeah is it, who Who the fuck is? is she in Legends of the Fall? Who is, who is it? Christina Pickles I don't think I know it's, who that is just, just one of those You definitely know her She's just one of you those know. actresses that like Just you know by like, She's one of like those Like you know that that woman She was in uh, Masters of the she's, Universe She's the she's um Monica and, and uh, Ross's mom on Friends. What's yeah. her name? Gonna, yeah. I, I have to see the face. What's her name? Yeah, um, Monica and Ross's mom on Friends. Christina Pickles. Christina. Chris Pickle. I'm tr- oh, she played their mom, like in Legends of the Fall. The one that's in Montana, right? Yeah, she had to have been. She's older. Oh, so really? she, she was probably yeah. Their yeah. mom. Their mom is like in Helena. Which is where like Anthony Quinn, I think, goes off to make a name for himself. I think I think he's uh, like Aiden he's Quinn, closer. you asshole. What I say, Aiden Quinn. Yeah. What I say, <laughs> Anthony Quinn. <laughs> Did I really? I said Anthony. Different movie. Wrong Very generation. different movie. Yeah. I'm no, sorry. it's fine. Al- Alfred. Listen, no, Alfred no. Goes listen, to... I I often like listen. Oh, Aiden no. Quinn and Tony Goldwyn were the two same people to me all of the nineties. I thought oh, Aiden yeah, Quinn sure. was going to be a major star. And I was. I think he oh, was. No. He should have been. He, I really. Nah, he, he never gonna. really crossed over. Yeah, he was he, a uh, well, star. like like he was that one roll away from the Oscar nomination at for something. Like Legends Sh- of the Fall was been. like, yeah. oh, we're gonna should've get to him soon, and then yeah. it was like, uh, actually not. Actually, now that I said Tony Goldwyn, which for some reason then made me think of Ray Liotta. I want to see what the tagline was for unlawful, unlawful entry. <laughs> God, <that's another laughs> as soon as you said Ray Liotta and I want to see the tagline, I yeah. knew which movie you were yeah. talking about. Ooh, so good. Uh, desire, <laughs> passion, lust. It's a deadly game of obsession. Yeah, that's appropriate. That's exactly 90s. it. <laughs> that Ooh. is it. That's, that's that, straight up 90s. That's my tagline. Yeah. Oh, man. That's my tagline. That's so good. Oh, I get so happy yeah. sometimes. <laughs> the things that bring me joy are just so minimal. Yeah. Man, we gotta find I'm, I'm, it. I'm very yeah. easily, I'm very easily pleased. What else? What else? What did we get? Oh, you did mention malice. I feel like I'm supposed to look for malice. Let's <laughs> just see that. Uh, malice was 
Oh my god, 1983? I thought it was yeah. late, a little later. Her doctor wasn't playing God. He thought he was God. Oh. <laughs> it's very on the nose. Yeah, it's very on the nose. Uh, let's do one more for the rose. Let's do the good son. Where's the good son? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna guess the good I feel son. like I need to pick one and see if you can get it, Clayton. Go ahead. Well, if, well if I haven't picked. The, so the answer the answer's the death becomes her. <laughs> Karen, pick Casablanca. <laughs> No, go ahead and read the good son one while I'm looking uh, one up. Good son. Evil has many faces. Yeah, I would have known that. Really? Yeah, because I just remember, like, I just remember seeing it all the time. I love the good son still. I remember, I, I remember uh, Roger Ebert like shitting on the good son, like him and Siskel. They hated it so much. Hey, they, I thought, got- they, they thought it was so mean. Let me give you one of my favorite taglines of all time. Any, any one of you three can just shatter it out if you can get it. A man went looking for America, and he couldn't find it anywhere. A Western named... Uh, <laughs> it's not uh, a Western. Uh, Shane. I don't know. Um, <laughs> man went looking for America, and what? Couldn't find it anywhere. Is it Easy Rider? Yeah, it is. Oh. Ah. That's a good one for that movie. Yeah. It is. Okay, Clayton. Good. <laughs> Where love cuts as deep as a dagger. My love? No. Where, Where love oh, cuts as love. deep as a dagger. Where love cuts as deep as a dagger. Show I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> um, literally, the first thing that came in my head was what dreams may come, but that's definitely not it. Um, where love, it's a place up. Uh, <laughs> Mark, you know it, right? No, I don't. But I, I have another one for you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go, I don't know. What is it, Karen? It's Casablanca. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Is it really? I have no idea. Holy crap. That's awesome. Joey, why can't the most powerful man in the world have the one thing he wants most? Oh. um, Hmm. Hmm. The American president? I don't know. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, exactly what it is. Cool. Uh, But but he does get her, like, midway through the movie. He only loses her for, like, a scene. It's it's the the tagline. It's a terrible tagline for a great movie. How about this one? From the brother of the director of Ghost. <laughs> oh, God. From the brother of the director of Ghost? Which, which Ghost parody are we talking Wait, about? Which is, which is Jerry Zucker. Of the director of Ghost. And that, I don't know who his brother is. I have no Zucker idea. Zucker Brothers. It's Naked Gun 33 and a third. Third. That oh. totally <laughs> makes sense. It works. I was like, which Zucker movie was it? That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Okay, Clayton, here's one more. All right. What is happiness to you? It's also Casablanca. Yeah, it's, 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 it's also, yeah, it's not also <laughs> This is actually a movie that Clayton has seen because we uh, talked uh, about it recently. Oh, okay. Oh, what is happiness to you? I think I haven't. I think I know. I think I remember this one. Vanilla Sky? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, I, 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 I could hear someone yeah. saying it. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, I'm surprised it wasn't open your eyes. Oh, yeah. Because that would have made sense. Yeah. Like the rest of the movie. <laughs> uh, how about this? Time to rock it out from the Delta to the DMZ. Good morning, Vietnam. Yeah. I love that movie. Oh, how? <laughs> this one's. Oh, this is an have one. Damn it. I thought it did. Oh, since there was one for there, oh, Ghost Dad was in here, and I was like, "Oh wait, what's for Ghost Dad?" <laughs> Do you know that I used to like that movie? Which I one? liked Ghost Dad too. Did you know Sidney yes. Poitier directed I did. that movie? Because directed I, what? Sidney Poitier. Sidney Poitier directed Ghost Dad. Directed, directed Ghost Dad. Ghost Dad. Yes. Oh. I knew it because I used to look up directors when I would watch a movie, and I was like, "Oh, this guy doesn't direct much," and then I realized, "Oh wait, no, he's a famous actor." And then later on, <laughs> when I put two and two together, when that makes. Zero sense. Yeah. yeah. It was it was like a USA movie on like Saturdays. Must have been cheap. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember seeing that in the theater. Ghost Dad? Yeah. 
What year is Ghost Dad? Uh, it's like probably like 91. Just remember, I, I remember very little about it, except he's still in, he was like in the airport, the airplane bathroom all the time. Here's, here's one for you. When he pours, he rains. <laughs> Cocktail. Yeah. No. I was like, wait, what? Uh, I had just taken a drink when you said it. I couldn't talk. With the steel. Oh, God. I kind of like Cocktail. I love that movie. I know you do, but <laughs> I don't think I've, you with it. I don't think I've seen Cocktail since I was a kid. Oh, oh so my gosh. Bad. Bonkers. Joey. Nandor, I mean, not Nandor, Nadia and La- Laszlo singing yes. Kokomo. Oh, God. So here's here's one of the best ones of all time, too. Be afraid. Be very, Be very afraid. afraid. Uh, that's showgirls. Um, <laughs> uh, I know the tagline. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah. What, what movie? It's, uh, that goes with so many movies. I know, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's like the horror movie. Uh, it's not. It is a horror movie. It's not Exorcist, right? Is it? No. No. What is it? The Fly. Ah, yeah, I knew that. Damn it. Isn't The Fly 2 like father, like son? Ah, it could be. That's a good idea. I feel like it is. Yeah. Mark wasn't prepared for that question. No. Yeah. (laughs) He he needed needed a follow-up. Yeah. Yeah, I I didn't have it. All right. Uh, Here's one more. Oh, good. From a dimension beyond the living, a terror to scare you to death. Beetlejuice? Nope. Oh, well, that's a good guess. I know. <laughs> that's that's a, a good, good guess. First thing that came to my head. <laughs> From the dimension. Uh, Hellraiser. No. Ooh, mm. that's a good guess, too. Really good guess. Uh, dimension, dimension. Fuck you going to dimensions. Is it horror or is it comedy? Uh, it is horror. It is horror. Say it, say it again. From a dimension beyond the living, a terror to scare you to death. Sorry, I laughed, but it's not a comedy. <laughs> it just it doesn't go with this movie in my mind. Oh, but uh, <laughs> a Nightmare on Elm Street. No, it's from another dimension. Predator. Nope. Ooh, good guess too. Yeah. Um. Too fast, too furious. <laughs> Killer clowns from outer space. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. What is it? Poltergeist. Oh, yeah. oh that makes sense. That's good. Like scary to death, though. Like, I mean, yeah, I mean, that I mean, movie scared the hell out of me. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it totally did to me too. But it yeah. just—I don't know. That tagline just seems. Yeah, it's different. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, one day. Where's Madeline Stowe? Like, I today, still have a hard time looking in mirrors because of Poltergeist. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, where's Madeline Stowe today? Been some stuff. Good question. Wait, what'd you say? I think she's been in stuff recently. I remember she was on uh, uh, Revenge, that ABC show. Yeah. That was the last time I saw her. Whenever actresses have kind of vanished now, I just assume they ran afoul of I remember. And... Uh, I yeah. remember Brad, Brad Brevet of Ripa Silicon used to call it Revan 80 because <laughs> their G uh, making it an 8, like the infinity sign. And oh, he, yeah. there used to be his thing on his podcast. He used to call it Revan 80. Yeah, that was the last big thing she did. She was on a series called Soundtrack for Netflix, but... I didn't even hear of that show. Yeah. Yeah, the last movie I saw that's, her in was... That's the thing. The last movie I saw her in was We Were Soldiers, and that movie's almost 20 years old. That was I last mean, I used to her? watch Revenge. I do was you, obsessed wait, with that show. Do, uh, Karen, do you remember Bad uh, Bad Girls? The western yes. she was in? I oh, remember that. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> I, mm-hmm. I I'm sure the, you do I, remember I watched that. it for the wrong reasons, <laughs> but I totally remember Bad Girls. Because uh, yeah. that came at the tail end of Tombstone and Wyatt Earp. Right. Yeah, and like it was Madeline Stowe and I think Andy McDowell and was Barrymore. Yeah, Drew yeah Barrymore? I was going to say Drew Barrymore. Yeah. I remember being in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I was watching. I was again. I was watching like '90s trailers uh, a few days ago, and like I always feel like I need to watch the Tombstone trailer because that thing just like it's just such a good movie. Like it's one of the biggest blips I think of like entertainment Oscar history. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, oh, so the, the news. I want the two bits of. Dudes, I just want to go over real quick. Yeah. Um, one, we, we happy birthday, Annette Benning, this weekend. Huh? We love you. 
Yes. <laughs> Happy birthday, Annette. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, uh, was we got an email from Telluride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, like, <laughs> the show must go on. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. I love how they think it's going to be just up to them to decide. Yeah, I mean, I. but honestly, like, looking at it, I don't know how they don't happen because the the rest of the country is just going to open. So if the rest of the country is going to open, they might as well just open, too. Like, I think that's kind of where they are. And that's kind of where I think it's going to be. Do I think everyone's going to go? No. And I think that was yeah. really extra vague. And it, like, if you can't, if you don't want to come for safety this year, we hope to see you next year. And left it at that. Hmm. But I just don't. I, I think I think they're going to happen. My thing is when I mean I think if it is up to them, yes, it will. They will do it, but. Like as things are reopening, I mean, in California this weekend they had a re- they had a jump of three thousand new cases. Oh yeah, two thousand of them were in L.A. and that's before all of the protests started. Yep. So uh, there's a county way up north that had had zero cases. They were the first county to reopen because they were like, "Why do we have to be closed? We haven't even had it in this county." America. And they immediately surged mm-hmm. and had to shut everything down. So and and listen, we go to Telluride also like at the beginning of the school year. So when we're driving into Telluride, we see the kids playing <laughs> at the playgrounds and stuff like that. Like that is going to be. Oh, by the way, Mark, I think just this is totally off subject. I'm just bringing in images from Legends of the Fall for the <laughs> Legends of the Fall page, and there's a really good picture that you should totally make your background image on your desktop. <laughs> oh, is it Brad Pitt? It is Brad Pitt. It's Brad Pitt uh, <laughs> holding. Um, I think a woman. <laughs> yeah, it's Julie. I, it's probably his. Um, no, I don't think it's Julie Orlando, though. No, it's it's his uh, oh, little no, flower his... or whatever her name is yeah. that gets killed. You called her I, little flower. Yeah, I forget her name. <laughs> damn it! It's yeah. like it's she's Indian. Yeah. Can I also say I rewatched that scene again? That scene makes no sense. Which one where she gets killed? Yes. The bullets ricocheting like her? like the like the physics of it makes no sense. It ricochets off the yeah. rock. Yeah, Isabel I mean, two. Isabel two is her name. Is a, yeah, how did I not get yeah. that? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> named after their mom, played by that woman you mentioned earlier. <laughs> that woman, Christina Pickles. Yes. So this is about the actress is Karina Lombard. By the yeah. way, ooh, nice. Um, yeah. So uh, back to tell you right. So tell you, I think tell you right's gonna try to happen what is it's gonna listen they also put in that same email like it is going to look and feel very different and i think that is good for them to set expectations it is not going to be business as usual can we can we real quick just talk about the fact that legends of the fall has a 45 (laughs) mark this is ignoring bad news five meta score how is that possible? A forty-five is like bad. It, it's it should have at least a seven. The critics that it's they bring in for meta meta score are and also very and, particular. And also, it's always hindsight because it's at a fifty-eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes. But when any RT score for anything that was out before internet, like in its in its current thing, you, like I know, you can't really like look at it that way. And Legends of Fall is kind of divisive because yeah. it is like a sprawling epic. And Brad Pitt's performance is like he was still figuring himself out. I'm gonna <laughs> write a review of it um, this week. He has, you should. There's there's some really good moments for him in it though. I know no, he's, he's I know he's like, pretty listen, in the beginning, but he has some pretty like yeah. Scene. No, listen, I, I he's listen. pretty at the end too. Right. Yeah, he well, was pretty go. all damn movie. <laughs> Ebert, um, gave, the Ebert gave it a 75. Peter Travers gave it a 75. So yeah. that's about that's they didn't about give it. They, Met, they Metascore gave, gave it 75 based on their review. Roger Ebert gave it three stars. They did what they wanted to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but listen, I think Legends of like so. Listen, I think Brad Pitt's great in it, but I think in that mid '90s Brad Pitt. So this is Legends of the Fall, Seven, Twelve cool Monkeys, world. California cool World, California. Like Brad Pitt is feeling himself out on his ranges as an actor, and like listen, Seven as great as Seven is, his 
oh god what's in the, the box end. come on is, i love it like like what's in the like but it is very, love love that it, but yeah, but it is nice. it is pretty jarring if you're watching it for the first time you're like what is oh. he doing <laughs> like what <laughs> is he doing in this scene and then legend of the fall he does it too especially after uh isabel dies he's like God, oh no! When he's uh, taking out Sam. Samuel's heart, yeah, it was he's Samuel's like, heart. God damn you! Like it's just knowing very... what we know about Fincher. How many takes did they do? And that was the best one. <laughs> oh, like, I don't know. I like. This. I think his performance in that ending is great. I don't know. It listen. It's like in it's in it's because we've seen where he's evolved from. If he was still do, like if he did that in Burn After Reading, we'd be like, stop it, <laughs> like. It was it, it it Brad Pitt is feeling himself out in the nineties and you have to either be with it or not. And Mark, you're clearly with it. And I'm with it too, because Legends Fall Oh no, I I, I love seven. I just it's rated just... three and a half stars on on the award circuit meter. Well, it is on Prime Video, so I think that's gonna be like one of our classic circuit Maybe, movies this month. <laughs> we, we should we should do a watch party. Yeah. Seriously, I haven't watched that in since like the mid nineties. How about the you guys wanna do a watch party this week? Like sure. Zoom, yeah. Zoom video style, we'll watch Legends of the Fall with like the readers. I mean, as long as you don't judge me for crying, that's cool. Are you gonna cry? What are you crying? I mean, I in? might. Like, what, a, that movie makes. Oh, me I cry. can't not cry yeah. watching that movie. Are you kidding? Anytime Brad Pitt takes wait, his shirt off, Mark. Cries. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no. Wait, wait, like, wait. When Samuel dies, or wait. By the way, do you know the trailer like reveals that Samuel dies? Yeah, that's. I remember. I, I can't believe they do that. They should let. They used that, to give everything away. And, I well, know, but like, do, how do you but... let? Like, how do you let that not happen? Like to your audience, like naturally. Got to get him in the theater first. But you don't. You don't. You can get him in. Like Brad Pitt is a specimen of proportions, like that we will never see or know again. <laughs> that should have been the tag on. Yeah, like starring this guy. Just look. <laughs> just look. <laughs> You're gonna like him. Yeah. Uh, the critical consensus on Rotten Tomatoes says featuring a spoon worthy star turned by Brad Pitt, Legends of the Fall, painterly foot to up. A Legend of the Fall's painterly photography and epic sweep often compensate for the lack of narrative momentum and glute of melodramatic twists. Hmm. It is a little heavy. Like, listen, like the, the love story aspect, like she like runs through all the brothers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But she's not to blame. Uh, Anthony Hopkins Williams who said you've been nothing but a problem yeah. since you came into this house. But the narrator, the chief guy, says she is not to blame. She's like the water in the rock that causes the rock to split. I love that you're just saying it just the way you mm-hmm. say it. The it's a true story. All That's right, why I've seen Mark, it. I put it go again four thousand times. Faster and more enthusiasm. <laughs> uh. He loves it. He loves it. He loves it. Uh, I did. I'm gonna, I wa- I'm, I'm gonna watch. Le- I'm gonna watch Legends of the Fall. I'm gonna watch White Men Can't Jump. My days are <laughs> so good. So Your day, and Karen's day are gonna be very different. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, not that different. Listen, <laughs> can I? Can I just tell you though? Oh my god, White Men Can't Jump. Rosie Perez. Besides it being a fantastic performance, but she is one of the hottest things. I never got you know, that. Oh my! How yeah, could you not? I don't know. She is so hot in that movie. I know everybody like, thought so. Like, and I hate that Woody Harrelson touches her in the movie. Like, <laughs> it used to get me so mad. I'm like, you dirty man, do not touch her. And then everything. And then Wesley Snipes would like run game on her. I used to get mad at that too. I'm like, no one's good enough for her. And she's the she's the one she's the, she's the one who wins in the end, though. That's right. That's good. Yeah, she, she, um, she gets her way. Is that the one where she goes on Jeopardy at the end or something, right? Yeah, yeah. not at the end, but yes. Or somewhere in the... Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's the big climax. Uh, and foods that start with the letter Q. That's why I remember that, too. Um, here, we're going to end with spoil that ending. Mark, at the end of this movie, would you have let your son go or your nephew? Oh, my nephew, obviously. Ah, but... No, but in the, but in the movie, you let go. Of, don't. But in the care. movie, like in the movie, you let care. go of your son, though. Never. That's that's the end of the good son. Yeah, I know. Totally, that son's got to go. Nope. Yeah, not if it's your son. I'm just not. I, sorry. You know, as soon as you, 
As soon as you would let him up, he would have killed you, though. Don't care. Kill me. He he was not saying gonna, not going to do it. <laughs> don't care. And at that obviously, po- and at that, I'm wait, not a parent, also, so also, I don't wait, hold know. On. But and at that point, he has killed your other son. At some point, yeah, yeah he's still my son, though. I and he tried to kill. Wait, and he tried, to, and, and he tried to kill your other other son. So he is killing everyone in your family. Yep. Mark Johnson, accessory to murder. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. Like, I mean, obviously, I'm not a parent. I don't know, but. I can't imagine, like, how I would live with myself if I killed someone else's child mm-hmm. oh, yeah. I mean, and it, kept it, mine. Either way, you're screwed. So. And, uh, wait, not, not, even someone else's, not even someone else's child. Your <laughs> husband's <laughs> brother's child who just lost his wife. Mm. Yeah. So you have to, like, play through all that. By the way, did you know Elmer Bernstein did the score for The Good Son? No, I don't think any of that. that. Yeah, it's and now that I think about it, yeah, it's very Bernstein like. It's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you're you're it's tragedy either way. Yeah, pretty much. So I'm sorry, Mark, that you know, no, you it's just okay. Let, just let anyone go. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Karen. So wh- where can they follow you? That's how we're going to end this. So I'm going to yeah. ask you the question, <laughs> and, and then you're going to give me your stuff. So go ahead, tell me where they can follow you. Uh, at Mark likes movies. He doesn't like them. Legends Name one fall. movie you like. Legends of the Fall. Yeah, that's it. That's it. If anyone comes on the, uh, any reader comes to the podcast being like, that movie's trash, he's going to be like, deleted. <laughs> Blocked. <laughs> All right, Karen. Okay. Um, At the end of this movie, <sighs> the password is pyramid. Hmm. Well, it was Pyramid, <laughs> but they changed the password. That's when the alarm company calls. Uh, <laughs> come on, you got to get it now with the alarm company, I'm guessing. Or at least- and, then, and, and then they say, what are you going to do? You're going to make a citizen's arrest? I love good 90s uh, and so kill villain lines. Right. They are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> they are like my second favorite thing in the world oh besides god. Death Becomes Her. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, when I said it, I just got so happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I totally know it. And I, it's I like know. We've, right I, there. I've my... said it already before on the podcast. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, man. I can't think of it. And I know I'm... Don't you resist me. Don't you resist me. (laughs) Why is my brain stopping? I I don't know. know. Oh, my God. It's unlawful entry, Karen. Oh, Oh. my gosh. (laughs) Oh. The good 90s thing, man. Like, all of a sudden, the title just completely left I know, my head. I know, I know, I know. Oh, so good. Where can they man. follow you, Karen? They can follow me at Karen M. Peterson on Twitter and Instagram. <sighs> Great. And Joey. Uh, Hold on. You want to go first? Or do they no. follow me first? No. Well, yeah, tell them where they can follow you first, because I'm going to pull this up. All right. Uh, Joey Maggotson, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Letterbox, all that stuff. All right. At the end of this movie, when your husband makes love to you, it's his. It's my face he sees. Ooh. When your baby's hungry, it's my breast that feeds him. Oh, the, the hand that rocks the cradle. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I was just puzzled that he was saying these words to me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Clayton, have you looked up the tagline for Death Becomes Her? Uh, I have not, actually, because I'm <laughs> saving it for such a good day. Next <laughs> but week. I, but, but I get, wait, hold on. It, it's not in, is it in the database? I don't, about I, don't, I don't think it is. Hold on. Let me look. <laughs> Readers, by the time you hear this, it will be. I know. It's going to be 30 stars. It's going to be the only movie that you can just give unlimited stars to. And it's blocked off below three. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, like no one can, is allowed to give anything other than four. Ah, it is. First of all, I lo- it's such a good Bruce Willis performance, by the way. Oh, it's so long. I don't like this. <laughs> Never mind. You get whatever rating you want now. Oh. In one small bottle, the fountain of youth, the secret of eternal life, the power of an ancient potion. Sometimes it works. 
Sometimes it doesn't. That's not fun at all. You 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 need this, <laughs> that potion by the time you hear it because you've died of old age. Exactly. Yeah. One of the great visual effects of the 90s also, by the way. Okay. Mm, you know, Jurassic Park, <laughs> Death Becomes. The hole, the the hole Park, in her stomach. Mine. Terminator 2. The, yeah, the, right. the hole in her stomach, the Meryl Streep everything. Like, it is fantastic. It's Also great makeup. Don't, don't Mark, this is my Legends of the Fall. <laughs> Two and a half stars. <laughs> Two and a half, my ass. Get out of Mark, here. when's the last time you watched it? <laughs> it's like 1989 or whatever the hell it came out. Okay, no, First of all, it came out in 1993, so you're an asshole. Whenever it came out is when I last saw it, though. It's been a while. No, yeah, no, that was why I asked because I saw it when it first came out and I was like, this movie's dumb. I never liked it. <laughs> yeah. And then not good. that long ago, I rewatched it as an adult, understanding things differently yeah. in life. And I was just like, this movie's actually really brilliant. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. So I would I like recommend you give it another try. Right. P- please, Mark. We'll see. <laughs> please. <laughs> just w- watch it with watch it with the boys. They're gonna love it. I thoroughly oh enjoyed God. it when and, I watched it again. And, and Mark, no shit lie. It is like remember I said Rosie Perez, like hottest thing. It's very close number two is Isabella Rossellini in that movie. Oh my gosh, yeah. Is like <laughs> uh, like unimaginable hotness. Yeah. It's so true. Don't be a monster. It's hard. Don't tell him not to be things that he is. I know. <laughs> Fish gotta yeah. swim. You can follow me at Award Circuit, download us on Stitcher Radio, iTunes, Spotify, all those good things. Go to wardcircuit.com for your entertainment news. Uh, this week, still bringing you stuff, you know, pending any, like, you know, shifts in feeling. I should should be business as usual. But I will be uh, sharing stuff on the site. Not to, uh, you know, not for attention purposes. It's the attention of COVID-19 to yeah. show the world that and i a big point that i made in in the letter was my wife is pretty sick all the time like just always like ah she has a cold she has this i never get sick like ever and look what happened she was the one and then i was the one who shows symptoms i never get sick so it could be any of us could be anyone so it's not about opening the country for the economy only it's about not being assholes for other people who are not immune, and they can get very sick from it. So, exactly. there's that. Uh, with that, good morning, Vietnam. Hmm. How does he end it? Uh, they play another tape, don't they? So he doesn't actually say goodbye. It's like another... He leaves while they're playing the final show. Mm-hmm. So it's goodbye, Vietnam, but he keeps talking. He's like, I'm out. And then he talks more and more and plays music. So there isn't oh. really a last line. No. Oh, by the way, Karen, Ghost Dad was 1990. Okay. <laughs> 629, 1990. All right. See you at the movies. Thanks. Take Bye. care. Circuit Breaker is brought to you by awardcircuit.com. Just plug in.